Exploring Translations, Lesson 9.1a. We've learned that a function is a rule that assigns exactly one output to each input. A transformation is a function that describes a change in position, size, or shape of a figure. The input of a transformation is the pre-image, that's the original, and the output is the image, that's the copy. A translation is a transformation that slides a figure along a straight line. So as he's sliding to home base, if he stays in this position, he's translating. And if she stays in this position and slides on that skate in a straight line, she's translating. So it's a little hard to tell. This might look black, but this is a dark blue. It's a blue triangle that's shown on the grid. This is the pre-image, the input and this red arrow shows the motion of the translation and how point A is translated to point A prime. See that little mark up there? We read that as A prime. Triangle ABC slid as a translation to the location of triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. The pre-image is the original. The image is a copy. And the tick marks, these little lines here, they look like an apostrophe up close. It's not an exponent. It's not a one. It's a little tick mark that looks like an apostrophe when you get up close. We know which is the copy by the tick marks. A is the original, the pre-image, and A prime is a copy. And we can have an A with two tick marks to show that's the second copy. We have a copy and then a copy of the copy. And then an A with three tick marks to show that it's the third copy. We read the labels of the diagram as A and A prime. We add another tick mark for each transformation. So if we have our blue triangle and it moves, it goes from A to A prime. And if it moves twice, it goes from A to A prime to A double prime. And if it moves again, it's moved three times. It was here, and then it moved, it moved, it moved. This is A. This is A prime. This is A double prime. And this is A triple prime. By looking at those tick marks, we know how many times it moved. We can cut out a copy of triangle ABC from a piece of paper, and I've got my cutout. It fits right on there. See that? We can slide the cutout triangle along the red arrow to model the translation that maps point A to point A prime. If I put this here, I can slide it along so that it goes to A prime. So we think of this as point A up here, and it's translating to A prime, just like that. The triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is the image of the translation. Now, this grid shows triangle ABC translated 11 units to here, and then two units down, one, two. So each point, A went 11 units to the right and two units down. B went 11 units to the right and two units down. And C went 11 units to the right and two units down. The orientation of triangle ABC, the blue one, did not change. It just slid to the right and down. We didn't spin it around. We didn't flip it. It just slid like that. A translation is just a slide to a new location. The pre-image doesn't change in size, doesn't turn, doesn't flip. Orientation is how the figure is placed on the grid with its top, bottom, and sides facing a certain direction. A translation doesn't affect a figure's orientation, just the figure's location. So here we have a triangle. If I move it up and to the left, I've translated. I didn't turn it. I didn't flip it. I just moved it like this, up and over. 
Same thing with this hexagon. I can move it across to the right and then up. I'm not turning it. I'm just moving it left and right, up and down. Same with this pentagon. I can move it to the right and then I can move it down. And we've translated it. Any movement left or right of X values or movement up and down of Y values is a translation. As we slide down a snowy hill, we don't change our size and shape. As we slide a piece of paper across the table, its size and shape doesn't change. Its location changes, though. We're finished with 9.1a. We're moving on to b, properties of translations. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and join me for part b. Bye.